Genesee County Probate Court Overview. We're going to provide some practical information for you if you are dealing or interfacing with the probate court in Genesee County. Let's get right at it. The Genesee County Probate Court is located at 900 South Saginaw Road in Flint, Michigan. Of course, in Genesee County. It's a pretty easy building to find in Flint. It is an old building with a modern facade, and it is the building that contains other courts as well as other municipal offices. Parking is really available throughout the surrounding uh, streets with metered parking as well as some long-term available parking. Now, whenever you go to court, you want to leave yourself sufficient time to go into the building, make your way through security, and have a chance to take a deep breath before your court matter. Going to probate court can be a very emotional and scary feeling for many people. So we really recommend you give yourself plenty of time from the time you leave your house to being able to enter the building. Of course, like all court buildings, there is security. And the security is very similar to going through an airport metal detector security. So just expect that if you have any sharp objects or anything that could be construed to be a weapon, you're going to have to return that to your car or throw it in the garbage, which can be really frustrating. So plan ahead, give yourself plenty of time to park and get through security so when you get to the probate court, you can breathe easy. Now, why would you end up at the Genesee County Probate Court or probate court for that matter? Well, understanding why you're in the probate court is really an understanding of the difference between venue and jurisdiction. Venue relates to the particular county upon which a matter may be proceeding, and jurisdiction relates to the type of matter. So, for example, the jurisdiction of a bankruptcy matter would generally be the bankruptcy court, and the jurisdiction of a divorce would generally be in the circuit court. And same holds true with the jurisdiction of probate and trust-related matters. If you're involved in a deceased probate estate, it is the domicile of the person that died and the county in which they were domiciled that dictates which county probate court you would commence that proceeding. Now, if that person died out of the state of Michigan but had assets in a particular county, you can also use that as a basis for establishing a deceased probate estate. That is the administration of the assets and liabilities of an individual who has died. In addition, the probate court has jurisdiction of certain trust matters. Now these trust matters may involve trust in which the trust itself specifically identifies that the court should supervise the trust administration. In addition, certain trust issues that are in conflict, maybe a fight between the trustee and some of the trust beneficiaries, or an interpretation of how the trust should be administered, or whether the trust was created appropriately, or was done under duress or fraud, etc. These are the types of matters in which, in which trust disputes would be resolved and the probate court has jurisdiction. The probate court also has jurisdiction of the establishment and the administration of guardianship files. These are matters in which somebody is deemed legally incapacitated and for their uh, care and well-being, a guardian would need to be appointed. Now, it's the residency of that individual that dictates which county you would file that guardianship in. The probate court also has jurisdiction over conservatorships. So if guardianship relates to guarding over for their care and well-being, conservator re relates to the conserving of assets. So it relates to their financial matters. So a conservator is appointed when somebody is unable to manage their own financial affairs. These are some examples of when the Genesee County Probate Court would have jurisdiction over your particular probate and trust matter. The Genesee County Probate Court has experienced judges serving on behalf of the community. Judge Jenny E. Barkey has been on the bench since 2006, has a long experienced history around probate and family related matters. Judge F. K. Beam has been on the bench since 2009, also having served extensively in private practice before she became a probate court judge. Now, 
Many matters involving the probate court require you to physically enter the building. And many of those matters can simply be done from the comfort of your computer screen at home. So for example, if you're trying to obtain particular probate forms or probate documents, you can go to the Genesee County website to obtain those probate forms for free. There's no charge to obtain those forms. Genesee County participates in a website that is genesee.mi.us, the website that I've identified here. Those forms are available, links to various resources, how to file, filing fees, and things like that to give you a better understanding of how to access information relating to probate court matters, specifically relating to Genesee County. Now to begin this process, you gotta go to that web address that I provided you and hit the OK button. Once that's done, you can access particular docket information. This is like a case history by either entering the case number or you can enter the individual's name, last name, comma, first name to access this information. That'll take you to another page in which particular entries are reflected. Now, in this case, I did a search of John Doe and many, many file names came up. On the far left, when you click that word view, you can then actually view the case history, the docket, and important information regarding that particular file, hearing dates, and so on. So this is a really good place to find case name, case number, and general information. Hopefully, this shortcut can avoid the necessity of traveling to the probate court to actually leaf through a probate file. Also on the website, you can find information regarding filing fees relating to various probate and trust related matters at the probate court. The most common filing fees that people are asking about relate to the commencement of a guardianship petition, a conservatorship petition, or a deceased probate estate. Each of those filing fees are $175. There is no filing fee to establish a guardianship of a, development, a developmentally disabled person. Now that $175 filing fee doesn't tell the whole story. There are additional fees that may relate to getting a letter of authority that as well as publishing in the legal news or the inventory fee. So you really have to have a full understanding of the various expenses that are related to that filing to have an understanding of the totality of the filing fees that re may relate to that particular probate matter. The Genesee County Probate Court is a busy court system. Each year, the state does a case summary report that analyzes each county's particular case value, both the new files as well as the active files, files that will occur at the end of the year and remain within the court system. Now you can imagine the busier the county in terms of uh, court system, it's usually a reflection of the population within that particular county. In 2019, you can see from this summary that there were 908 deceased estates that were commenced and adult guardianships rep uh, represented 605. Both adult conservatorship guardianships, minor conservatorship and minor guardianships really represent a lot of the filings that occur at the Genesee County Probate Court. On the lower section of this case summary, you'll see that at the end of the year, of December 31, 2019, there were a total active number of trusts and estate cases that represented 2,156 and 1,592 active guardianships that remained in the court system. So what can we draw from this information? It's a busy court system. It's a system that when you show up, you're one of many files that are occurring at the probate court. Now, navigating through the probate court system is not an easy thing to do for most people. It's confusing, it can be frustrating, the language can be foreign, and it's usually very emotional. Having a skilled, competent, capable probate practitioner that understands the ins and outs of this particular court system can be really helpful. 
If you've got questions relating to a probate and trust matter, give us a call at 833-PROBATE or visit us at theprobatepro.com.